Greetings, RC Model Geekers! So, uh, today I'm going to show you how to reverse uh, electrically a servo. Um, we've got an application here where we need uh, two servos, but they need to go in opposite directions, but they're going to be on a Y lead. Right, now you can buy a little plug-in inline servo reverser. Uh, but it's all extra weight and we don't want to do that because uh, you do also get a little delay in some of these servo reversers as well because they've got a little processor in them. Um, so we want to just do it electrically in the servo so we can mount both of these servos in the tail and drive two halves of the elevator. So if we pan down to the workbench mm -hmm. on our little test rig here we've got two servos and you will see the problem. If we set it in motion all right. If you imagine that each one of these drives one half of the elevator, you'll see that one will be going up, the other will be going down, because mm -hmm. it's push-pulling. What we want to do is reverse one of these so that it goes the opposite way, so they're both moving in the same direction. Mm. You can do it by flipping the servo upside down, like that, and then they'll both work in the same direction, but uh, that's a pain in the arse to mount. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and we want the simplest uh, option we can. Okay. Now, I mean, you could do it in the radio and run two wires down. Mm -hmm. You know, two separate channels, but it's complicated again. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, and we're going for lightness, simplicity, uh, reliability, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is take one of these servos apart and electrically swap it so that it runs in the opposite direction. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll be back in a second um, once the servo is apart. Right, we've got the four screws out of the bottom of the servo. Uh, this is a Corona uh, DS3, sorry, 939MG. So it's metal geared and it's digital. So we pull the bottom off. Right, and you'll see here is the motor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's the controller board. Now, before I get too complicated, I'm going to unplug that. Okay, and then if we lift this up, <clears throat> there's the three wires that go to the uh, feedback pot, which is mounted to this shaft, and it tells the servo controller where the arm is. Yeah, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> the two things we've got to do to this uh, to this servo. Now on this one, it's slightly more difficult, okay, um, because um, of the way it's soldered to the motor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally there's like two, you know, flexi wires going to the motor, and it's easy to swap. Mm -hmm. Here they've got, you know, solid bits of wire going straight to the motor. So what we'll have to do, because what we need to do is swap the polarity of the motor. Yeah. Yeah, so that it runs in the opposite direction, mm -hmm. and then swap two of the wires on the pot that's in here, mm -hmm. so that it thinks it's going in the opposite direction as well. Yeah. Once we've done that, the servo will run the opposite way. Mm -hmm. uh, so on this one, we could just get two bits of wire and cross them over, mm -hmm. but I think by the looks of it, we can actually take this motor out, turn it 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and resolder those wires back down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then with the pot, we can just swap the wires over, and we're done. Okay. So, I'll get it apart and let you see what's going on. Okay then. Okay, so I've removed the top off the servo, and just took unscrewed the output arm, and that top lifts off on this one. Uh, in here, as you can see, it's um, ball bearinged there, and it's metal geared. Apart from one cog down here, which is plastic. Mm -hmm. They always do that. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it's for electrical noise or something. But um, you always find there's one plastic one, especially in these you know, ones that come from Obby King. Um, even though they say it's metal geared, you always get this one plastic cog. Mm -hmm. So what we've got to do now, because we've got to get this motor out, we've got to remove these. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully there's a couple of hidden screws here or something. We'll see. It might just be a push fit, actually. Let's see. If I push down on the motor, 
Oh, there she oh, goes. Yeah, pops out. Right? Yep, she's a push fit in there. Good. So that's handy. Sometimes on the bigger servos, there'll be a couple of screws holding that in. On this one, there's not. So we can slide this out like that. Yeah. So there's your motor. Mm hmm. And there is the little pot down in the bottom there that we're going to be reversing. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing is we're going to unsolve, well, we're going to note which way round it is. Yeah, so at the moment the writing is towards the back of the servo. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to unsolder these, flip it round 180 degrees, solder it back up. Okay. Yeah. So, first of all, I will unsolder it. Got my iron here, nice and hot. I think we're going to need some solder on that to. Um, Okay. Just to get it going first. Right, okay, got my solder. Gonna heat that up. Get that going. Oops, you need three hands here for this, unfortunately, mm. to get that off. So let's just try again. There we go. That one's off. And then this one will come off quite easily. There you go. So there's our motor. Excellent. Right, you'll notice on this motor. Yeah, it's got a little bit of tape to uh, insulate it from the circuit board and everything else. Yeah. So we want to peel that off and stick it on the other side. Or if you've got some tape, um, you know, you can just put another bit of tape on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to peel this off. So I'll be back with you in a minute once I've found uh, a knife to do it with. Right, got my knife. And we're just going to peel it off. This is uh, capped on tape by the looks of it. High temperature tape. So we peeled that off and then we're going to put it... If she'll stick on that side. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, nope, that tape's no good. So what we'll need is um, some tape. So um, we've got some more tape, and we just need to stick it exactly where the other bit would have been. But don't want to stick. Let's try a bit further down the roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's stuck on there. Slice it off. And slice it off there. Okay, so there's a bit of insulation. Awesome. Like, like it was on the other side. Mm -hmm. So. A motor can then hopefully pop back in, but the other way around. Mm -hmm. There you go, and you can see there's the insulation nicely insulating. Yeah, got that. Right, and our wires are going to go back on there like that. Okay. But not yet. Right. Because what we've got to do now is swap, if we untangle that, you see there's three wires. Can you get? Can you see that part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a black, white, and red. Okay. Yeah. Um, it could be different colours in different servos, whatever. So what we've got to do is swap the black and the red wire, which are the two outer wires on the pot. Yeah. Yeah. What you've got is a resistive track that runs all the way round from the two end connections. In the centre is a wiper that goes round that resistive track yeah. and gives you a voltage which tells the servo driver board there where it is. Right, okay. If we swap them round it thinks it's going to go the other way. Yeah. Basically. Now we can either try and get in there and unsolder it from there and there, which <laughs> is a bit tight, Yeah. right? Or we can swap it on the board. Okay, so we're going to unsolder the red and the black. Now we've got our iron here, um, another three-handed job, but we'll see if we can get it away just like this. There you go, that's the black off, mm -hmm. and there's the red. Let's move him out of the way, let's see if we can get the red the same way. Fine tip needed really on your iron for this, there's loads of stuff. Right, so that is unsoldered. Mm -hmm. 
Next thing is we're going to need a vise or some other holding method. We're using a pair of pliers because we can't find a vise. Mm, it's somewhere. And then we're going to plonk that down there. With the rubber band on the end. With the rubber band on the end. And then what we are going to do is solder these red and the blacks on the opposite way. Okay. Yeah, so the red was on there before. Mm -hmm. It's now got to go over to here. Uh -huh. Okay. So... There you go, there's the red on, mm -hmm. and there's a black hiding. There. Perfect. Okie dokie. Yeah. So, that's the feedback pot swapped round. Okay. Because it's allowing for the motor going the opposite way. Yeah. So sure. it wants to see the signals the other way around, or the voltage. Mm. So, the next thing is we need a motor. Yeah. Our motor has got to go back in there. The opposite way around to it was before. Uh-huh. Okay, that's pushed in. Lovely. And then this board has got to drop back in, making sure you get all the wires tucked away nicely. Yep. Yep. So that's the board back in. Okay, and then we've got to re-solder these wires back onto the motor pins, but obviously it's going to be the opposite way round. Yeah. Now, because we've turned the motor round 90 degree, 180 degrees. Okay. So let's clip that into there, like that. Get a solder. Something. <laughs> One. If anybody was wondering what that strange boingy noise is, it's my um, notifications on my phone. There we go. And that's perfect. And that is perfect. So there's a little bit of uh, extra wire sticking out there. We just want to trim that off with the cutters. Uh huh. Um, and then we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, it's all tidied up there. Boards in. Cables in the right place. So we'll put it back together. Making sure all your gears are in the right place. There you go, that's the top on. Mm -hmm. And there's the bottom. With a cutout for the wires. There you go. Okay. And we'll put the screws in. Right, so that's in there. We'll plonk the output arm on. Okay. Okay, don't know where it's going to be, but we'll see. And then we'll plug it into a servo tester. Yeah. There you go. Don't work. Awesome. Yeah, lovely. Oh, no, it's because we haven't pressed the button. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we've now got a working servo. Now, if we match these up, they should both push pull. Well, exactly. They should both go in the same direction now, mm. on the opposite arms. Yes. So if I hold them there like that. There you go, guys. There we go. So we now have this servo working in the opposite direction, but for our install, it's all nice and neat and symmetrical. Yeah, because we can use both mountings. Yeah. So there we go. That's how to reverse a... Uh, a servo. Now that's a digital servo. Yeah. Analog servos are the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not rocket science. It's easy to do. Uh, big servos, small servos. Um, sometimes uh, you'll find that the pot is actually soldered to the circuit board directly. Then you've got a bit more of a problem. But mm. um, you know, I'm sure it's uh, overcomable mm. if you have the skill. Remember, you're doing this off your own back. So uh, if you fuck it up. It's your own fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just to show you 
how we do it. Yeah. Um, it might not work for you. So yeah, don't forget to um, center up your servo, of course. Put your arm on. And typical of these servos again, you can't get a, a proper center, but tough shit. Um, yeah. So there you go. All done. Awesome. It's that easy. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, we do give back now and again. Yeah. <laughs> and receive jammy dodgers. Oh, I'm looking forward to some more of them. Oh, I thought you might be. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, don't forget, we're on Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh, we've got a Patreon page. Links in the description. Um, like, subscribe, comment. And that's it, really. And the Jammy Dodgers. And Jammy Dodgers, yeah. So uh, it's goodbye from uh, Mad Colin over there on the camera. And it's goodbye from Captain Rob. Goodbye. Cheers, Em.